stampers. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be creating this really cute graduation cap gift card holder. Isn't this the cutest dang thing you've ever seen? And you've got to love the shimmer and the sparkle and look at the tassel. Definitely ranks on my stinking cuto meter. Let's get started. We'll be using the Clear Bigs die for the Big Shot. Stampin' Up! sells this very, very cool. You'll need two pieces of basic black cardstock. Layer them right on top. Sandwich between two cutting pads. Place that directly on the handy dandy Big Shot machine and crank the handle. And when we remove it, see this little circle in the back? Just pop your finger in there and these pop out. I'm gonna work with the ribbon next. I'm using pumpkin pie striped. The reason I'm taking pumpkin pie is because these are our local colors. So you probably wanna change this to your local colors for your tassel. Then you want to find a thread on the end of your ribbon and pull. And one side will pull nice and simple and one side will not. You see how that just bunched up? So I'm gonna say that's the wrong side. So I'm gonna start here on the other end. If you take and kind of peel apart the top of this ribbon, see these threads going horizontally in there? You wanna pick at the very top one. And once I get that, once I get that string, see how that's just coming right down? So cool. Sometimes it takes a couple pulls to get that string and every now and then it will hit a snag. But when you got it, you knew it. If you hit a snag like this, just, just loosen it up and pull gently. You can do this effect with any of our grow grain ribbons. And it does take a couple of times till you get it right, but once you get it right, it's quite easy to do. Okay, the next step. One of our black scallop panels, the 5 8 neutral brads, any of the colors worked. I'll use silver this time. And our paper piercer and our mat pack. So we're gonna start by poking a hole in the center of the cap with your paper piercer over the mat pack. I'm gonna cut off the end of this because I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I didn't want to unravel the whole thing or you just have a bunch of loose string here. And that might work on some projects, but on this one, I want to have a little bit together here. So next, I'm gonna take my paper piercer and poke a little bit of a hole to make it, and just pull here to make it easier to put the brad in. Stick our brad through that hole. Now any piece of this that doesn't tuck under the brad, I cut off so it doesn't show. Just trim off any excess there. The rest of that's gonna go right under the brad and hide. So we'll stick the brad through, tuck under any of our loose ribbons, spread the backing of the brad. There it is. All right, next I'm gonna pop the scoring blade into my paper cutter. I'm gonna score both of the black scallop circles at a half an inch. This will be the side that they connect on. Next I'm gonna take some Stampin' Up! sticky strip, strong like bull, and I'm gonna lay it on the bottom piece. See, this is where we scored and it's going to be a hinge. So peel off the protective backing and then line up and attach the top. Isn't it stinking cute? Oh my gosh, I just love this. Cutest graduation card ever. Okay, not done. All right, I have a spray bottle here with about an ounce of rubbing alcohol in it. Stampin' Up! carries this. It's champagne mist shimmer paint. Shake it up real good and put about five or six drops in with your one ounce of rubbing alcohol. And here's my little cheat. If you don't happen to have an eyedropper to do this with, I will take actually the plunger from the spray bottle and pick up that color and put a couple of those in. Shh, don't tell anyone. Our secret. So now I'll spray the whole thing. Can you see the sparkle on that? Oh, love it! Ivory Naturals cardstock, three and a half by seven inches. And we'll fold that right in half. Take our slit punch. On the top center and the edge, I'm gonna cut one slit. This is going to be our gift card holder. So then you put your gift card in for sizing. And then what I did was I actually used that as my guide for where the second punch was. And that will slide in perfectly. Awesome. For the words, I'm combining two stamp sets. Happy graduation from Teeny Tiny Wishes. Oh my gosh, this is everything. And you're a wonderful reason to celebrate from Curvy Wishes. We'll stamp them both in the bottom portion. If you already have your gift card, you can attach with the gift card inserted. If not, you can insert later. Just snail to attach. Line it up with your crease. Snail on the underside. And then fold it. And voila! It's done! And you have your graduation cap gift card holder. I'm asking my nine-year-old what he thinks about this stinking cool project, and he says... Cool. <laughs> Gotta love it. Hope you've enjoyed this stinking cool project today. Be sure to visit my blog for tons more ideas and tutorials. Thanks for joining me.